hello. The game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a tricky rack. I've got the Q with the U, which is good. And I've got the Z, which is good. But I've got no other vowels. So I'm dependent on my opponent playing a vowel. If he changes, I may play Sook for 24. A shame to burn the S, but I can't see any other options available with this rack, and certainly 24 points is too much to turn down by changing. Great! Opponent does provide a couple of vowels. The U not massively useful. Well, I was just wondering if I had squash with two U's, but that would need two S's. So what do I have through the E? It's a shame there's no I for quiz. I don't have to play off the QU. So what can I get with the Z? I could play Les for 22 points. That takes out the most useful floater. I can't really play parallel to Duke because U goes next to nothing. Am I missing something? Well, I have Zulu for 26. That's not a good idea. I could end up with having access to no U's, whereas with this play I have access to two currently and the one on my rack is, is guaranteed. Not a huge fan of this rack leave, but I'm going with this. The alternative would be Zell in this spot. And I do have an S. I'm going with this. That looks a little more promising. I still have the Q with the U, but I've got a vowel to play with. So I have Quern on my rack. And if I played Zell, I would have had Querns. I think I was reluctant to provide an easy S hook for my opponent, given that I'm a long way from a bingo. Now, what do I have through the U of Jute? Well, I have Quern in that spot, but that retains the U on my rack, which I'd like to get rid of with the Q. I've got Usk through this U, but that burns the S. And I don't want to do that unless the score justifies it. Can't see anything with the J and the Q. I would need another E for jerk. So, not a huge number of options available on the board at the moment. Les takes a Z after it. Great, my opponent momentarily goes. But he's back. So, opponent burnt a blank to make that initial play of duped for 48 points. I don't think you can deduce anything from that about whether he has the other blank, because 48 points is just a decent score. Now, I don't have a great deal available after opponent's play. Quet, not good. Nowhere for Quern. And I trail by about 40 points. Just wondering if I've got to play ending TH. Well, I do, and it's quite a nice play. NTH, it provides very little for my opponent, and this rack leave is pretty good when you're retaining the Q and the U. I could be in bingo territory if I draw a vowel. 
I'm going with unth. I do draw that vowel, but I draw an X as well, so I don't have a bingo. But it's a rack with a, a lot of scoring potential. This is a super tight board, however. But the opponent is in a position now where he has to open it up. And if he changes, I can play Zax, keeping a good rack leave and scoring 30 points and keeping the board tight. I am behind, so I'd like to the board to be open, but only if I have a bingoy rack. While I don't have a bingoy rack, I like the board to be closed so that my opponent doesn't zoom off. Just wondering about plays beginning with L, which get the Q doubled and I which get the Q doubled and I can't see one. I've got key in row K, which does get rid of the Q. Just the 20 points for my opponent. So he's keeping the board tight, but I'm going to do the same with Zax. Duplicate S's. And no more vowels, so not a great rack. I do have quern and querns on my rack, but the S's don't play well on this board. However, opponent could well play a ladder underneath Zax, providing a spot for my Q. And now I can play SUQ without worrying that I'm burning a precious S because the second S is, isn't worth very much at all. Now, opponent doesn't provide an X spot. However, I've got Suk underneath Zax for 45 points, which is a good score. Brings me very close to my opponent. Pretty good Rackley, which goes quite nicely with the E of Hoved. Just pausing in case I'm missing something. So... Let me just put this back. I have queer and queers. No, I'm not missing a bingo. I'm going with Sook. And Sook takes an S, which I have. I have Enviros and Version, both of which play in column 11. Do I have a play through the E or the D? Not seeing anything with the D. Endorsive with a D and an E. And what about the E? That looks promising. Renvoir is the third anagram of Enviros. Fantastic. Only 20 points for my opponent, and column 11 is available. What should I play? Enviro sticks an E out in the open and next to a double word square, so I think Renvoir is better. Version takes an E and an A in front, so I'm reluctant to play that. Although, a version would provide fewer floaters. This E could be quite useful. I think Renoir is the right play. Pretty good. May not be a bingo here, but it's balanced. And there's always a risk when you draw seven random tiles that you'll have an absolute horror show. Well, this isn't that. Now the E of Renoir out in the open, not as dangerous as it otherwise might be because there is already an E in the open with Hoved. Pack takes nothing in front. Now what about row H? I have Coma for a big score. That'll be about 50 points. The opponent goes there for 42. And 
provides a floating A. Does that assist? This looks close to a bingo. This rack plus an A. I'm close to bacterium, but that would need an A and a U. Can't see anything with the E. I have meter with the E, but with B I C. I lead by 20 points. So I have I have three scoring tiles. It would be good to play as many of them as possible, but certainly at least two. Just looking for a play in column 13, which gets one of my scoring tiles doubled and reaches the double word square. Not seeing such a play. Well, what about B rhyme? Yeah, that might. And it could be B Meyer. But it's 26 points. Rackley's pretty good. Goes well with the floating A of Womera and E of Hooved. Let's see if this is good. And it is. Not a good pickup at all. And my lead pretty slender at just 50 points. If opponent Bing goes through the A, it's more likely to be a non-triple word square play because the A is more likely to be in the middle of a word than at the end. But how to sort this rack out, it's pretty grim. Just 17 points for my opponent, which is good. I don't have a six that are play here. I could play cattle in row M. Not keen on that, sticking the C in column one for an easy score by my opponent. 12 minutes on my clock. I do want to split up the duplicate T. There are three still to come. And cattle leaves G and S. Don't like the, the G. Keep. Well, maybe I just have to accept that. I could play Glacé, 16 points, Rackleave not terrible, and I am ahead, and Glacé does interfere with significant bingo lanes and doesn't provide a huge amount, Roel a mini hotspot, and this Rackleave certainly isn't terrible. And it goes well with the floating A of Womera, which is available for a bingo. I'm going with this. I draw two T's, so that's not looking good. And all one pointers and only one vowel. So this is looking pretty bad for me. My opponent's really in a good position to close in on me now. I picked up net, and that's pretty much what I want to play. Wow, nice score by my opponent. Would he have played that without an S? Just one S and one blank to come. I think I need to sort out my rack first. So, a play of Trent. Well... What about a play of Tret? 
Ah, um, I only, I don't have the R. So I'm going to go back to this. It takes out a spot which opponent could score well with. Leaves me a decent rack leave. Leaves me the S for SH. Scores 18 points. I'm going with this. Ah, oh, Trent not good. And the trouble with Tret is that it leaves four consonants. Ah, what a tricky position. Just wondering about playing tents. Only 20 points and leaves duplicate T. What about a play through the A of glass A? Well, what about tat? Pretty good rack leave. Goes well with the A. Just a good rack leave generally. Scores only 10 points, but this rack leave is far superior to any of the others I've considered. And this is stopping opponent playing in row O for a big score. I'm going with this. And that is my reward. Pretty good looking rack. I have Ernest in column one and Sterane and Ratines and Nearest, pretty much all of the anagrams there playing in column one. If opponent plays in column one, there is likely to be a bingo lane in column two. Now, do I have a bingo elsewhere? Let me just check that I have one which plays in column two. I do, I have Sterane. Uh, I may have one which plays lower down. I'll consider that subsequently. So I'm 50 points behind. Do I have a play in column 15? So this rack plus an A. Pretty high probability set of tiles. Seri Serenata. That doesn't play because of INA, which is a shame. It doesn't play in either position. And does Serenata have an anagram? Arsen 8. That doesn't play beginning with the A. No, that doesn't play. What about a play ending in R? Can't see one. Terrains is a play with the R. There could be a play through the R and the E. Do I have Easterner? Might do. Yes, so Easterner for 70. A play in column 2 might score about the same or slightly more. But it could also begin in the top row providing an easy play in row a so i i'm going to go with easterner quite a nice rack could be a bingo here i lead by 17. no s's or blanks to come so easterner's not going to have an s stuck on the end stuck on the end just just 13 tiles in the bag so quite a critical stage of the game now. A big score from my opponent, and that is a big score. Wow. That was the risk I was facing. But the remaining tiles, not great. Just the F and the B as scoring tiles. Eight tiles to come. Do I have a bingo with this rack? Well, Whoopi has taken out column two as a bingo lane. So row L beginning with V. Row N beginning with D and column 15 are the lanes and I'm not seeing anything. I guess row B available for a 7. But I think my problem is going to be scoring anything with this rack. My G can go next to the U. Three E's to come. That 
that's only going to get about 20 points, so I'll still be behind. I think scoring 30 points is likely to be beyond me. Just seeing if Vulch reaches the double word square, and it doesn't. So, do I go for a bingo? I don't think row B is available for a bingo lane. I'm not sure that any remaining tiles go in front of Y, A. But there are bingo lanes. Rows L, N and column 15. Not all, none of them particularly good. I was just thinking about playing OU here. ING could be useful for the V and the D, or indeed the A. This is quite a balanced rack. Only 13 points, that's a bit tragic. Is, is there anything better available? Five minutes on my clock. So I have OU. And look at this, two O's and a U to come, so I'm quite grateful for playing those off. I think I am going to go with this. I'm 30 points behind. I think I, my best route to winning is to bingo, and this is the most bingoiest rack leave. What about playing it down here? 14 points. Well, I think I'll go back to playing it up here because it stops my opponent scoring with his F or B in that spot. U for 13. L for 13. I pick I and B. Which do not give me a bingo. I trail by 15, but that feels like it's a much bigger amount. Still six tiles to come. I can play Brit in row O, 18 points. F also goes in front of OU. Is there really nothing through the A? Wow. Opponent takes out two bingo lanes, but provides a couple more, one beginning DE, one beginning with F, three tiles to come. And he leads by 41 points. I'm thinking about playing Brett, leaving one in the bag. And if opponent plays in row O, there will be a, a seven-letter lane available. And column 15 is available. But would it be better to play by O? Interesting. Three minutes to work this out. The two tiles to play off are B and I. Is there any way of creating a selfish hook? For example, if I played BIT and I had the last O, that would work, but I'm not in that position. And am I sure that I don't have a bingo with this rack? Just looking at these new lanes. Yes, I am. So what about bio here? Can opponent outrun me? Because this is only five points as opposed to 18. If I got 18, I'd be 23 behind. I think I would need a bingo to win. But if I go for this for just five points, I'd be on 334. I'd be 30 or 40 behind. And I think a bingo would win. Can I do something better than bio by way of opening a lane? I don't think so. I'm going with this. So, has this worked out? I'm not sure it has. 
I pick O and U. Do I have a bingo with this rack plus a B? Not that I can see. How about with the F? Not seeing anything. How about the A? That doesn't look promising. No, I think my race is run. Can't see anything beginning with D, E. And I'm 40 odd points behind, so I'm not in great shape. I've got no scoring tiles. Is there anything I've overlooked? I don't think there is. I've got the un prefix. No. So I think the best I can do is fouling. Opponent may not be able to go out in one, but he's 60 points ahead, which is enough to survive anything. Is there a bingo beginning with F? Surely not. So fouling for 36, and then I can go out with the E in quite a few places. So I'm going with this. I hope I didn't miss a bingo with that rack. I don't, I don't think I did, but you can never be sure. So where's the best place for my E? Five for D, E. I bet it may have an out, but I'm looking for somewhere to go. He doesn't. 6 for Y-A-E, 6 for Wo, 1 minute on my clock. Not seen anything better. 5 for Net and L. No, I can't see anything which scores more. So six was the most I saw. And the final score, 378 to me, 414 to my opponent, a winning margin of 36 points. So well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first, and he played duped, and he didn't have the other blank. Wow, look at that. Both of us only had a solitary U by way of vowels on our opening racks. So I thought about Zulu, didn't play it, preferred a les to retain the Q with the U, and I still like that. Not a nice rack for my opponent, but he dealt with it very well with Culty. Now, Queen for 17. I didn't play that. I played Unth for 14, which retains QU, but QU is, has positive value. However, would Queen have been a better play? Probably. HRS is quite a manageable rack leave. Opponent's rack. Plays Phil. And now I have Zax for 30. Opponent's rack, plays Hooved, and I have Souk for 45. Opponent's rack, he plays Pack, and now I have a great rack. M6, either E version also available for 82 points. 
So a few choices there. Opponent not having great racks, but this is another good spot by him. Now, did I miss something here? I didn't, but B crime was available, which was certainly better than B rhyme, an extra 12 points. Opponent's rack, he plays Noraya, and I lead by about 40, but this is a really horrible rack. I thought about cattle, didn't like sticking the C in the open. Went with glass A. Yeah, an opponent would have had um, N, N, well, I was going to say N richer, but that wouldn't quite have fitted. Gosh, he's got Erhine on his rack, nowhere for that, I don't think. Anyway, I played glass A. Was there something better? Well, I don't think so. Look at all these scores. They're all rubbish. Opponent plays Hinger, and I have four Ts. So I play Tat, G15. I don't play it there. I play it here, but I prefer it here. It takes out row O, and it leaves A, the A of Woomera, available as a bingo. As a hook, rather. Floater. Opponent bingos to establish a 50-point lead. I'm able to come back with Easterner. And the other plays available were Sterain at A2, which sticks an S in the middle of row A. And Veterans, beginning with the V, which probably would have been the play. So I play Easterner. And this was the probably the game-deciding move. Whoopi for 47, huge score. And it's very hard for me to come back from this without a bingo, and it's a tight board. So I play OU for 13, J15. Could have played Legion for 29. Yep, possibly should have done that. Maybe I did strike out for a bingo when that wasn't the winningest thing to do. Opponent's rack plays death. Wow, Philly bag, what a lovely word. 42 points, that would have brought me level. What do I do? I play bio for five. Okay, but that's a play for strategic reasons. Opponent plays bogeyed. And now fouling looks best. And opponent does have an out, a rate. At the bottom, doesn't spot it, plays AE. And finally, Mo for 7 was available at G13. Yep, and G15. That's the same play. So, pretty exciting game. Well played by my opponent. He had some tricky racks throughout and, and did very well with them, in particular with Womera and there was something else which stood out Whoop, whoopy was good and culty as well so some good plays by my opponent and some tricky racks that i had to deal with and i still don't know whether i made the right plays with them and i also don't know whether philly beg or legion would have been enough to win without a bingo so quite a few interesting moves to consider i hope you enjoyed watching that game and i will see you next time